Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 49. In this video, we will discuss how to use a Sudoku software application called Hadoku. Hadoku is free software under the GNU General Public License. Hadoku is a Java-based application written by Bernard Habiger. Since Hadoku is Java-based, it can be installed and run on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows platforms. See DX Sudoku training video number 21 for a step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Hadoku on a PC running Windows. Hadoku is an amazing program. You can create puzzles and train with over 90 Sudoku puzzle solving techniques. In this user guide, we will show you most of Hadoku's many features and capabilities. For this video, here is a video table of contents. We are showing a list of topics and the location or mark in the video in which the topic is covered. After we launch the application, here is the application's first page. The default difficulty level is easy as indicated by the selection in the drop down menu located in the application's button bar. To create a new puzzle, we click on the Create Puzzle button in the application's button bar. Notice Hadoku's puzzle rating near the bottom of the application window. This puzzle has a rating of 212. To create a puzzle with a more difficult level, we change the difficulty level from the drop down menu. We click on the Create Puzzle button. We now have a puzzle having a Hadoku hard level. Notice the score with this puzzle is 1446. To see what solving techniques are required for this puzzle, we select Summary from the View drop down menu. As you can see to the right of our puzzle is a summary of all the techniques needed to solve this puzzle. This is extremely useful in picking puzzles to practice the techniques you currently know or have the most fun playing. This puzzle will require knowing the W-Wing and XY-Wing advanced puzzle solving techniques highlighted in yellow. Next from the View drop down menu we select Reset View. Here are Hadoku's difficulty definitions. On this slide we have divided the hard level definition into two parts, common and uncommon. If you are practicing the hard level, you will be able to solve 99% of the puzzles generated just knowing the common techniques. Here are the uncommon or rare techniques you will need to know when practicing the unfair or extreme levels. If you are interested in practicing solving generated puzzles having a particular technique, like a mutant swordfish, later on in this guide we will be discussing Hadoku's practice mode. With practice mode you can generate puzzles requiring a specific puzzle solving technique in order to be solved. We return back to our hard puzzle. Notice we have a naked single in cell 5,4 now circled in red. To select one as the value of the cell, we double click on the one inside the cell. The value is now selected. Notice the values we set are in blue and the original givens are in black. We see a new naked single pop up in cell 1,4. This time instead of double clicking on the number, to select a value for the cell we use the right mouse button to pull up a pop up menu. We choose the make 4 menu item from the pop up menu. Next we click on the number 1 in the button bar to highlight all the cells having a possible 1 candidate. All the cells having a possible 1 candidate are now highlighted in light green. We discover a hidden single in the house making up row 6 as shown. We double click the 1 inside the cell to choose 1 as the value of the cell. Notice on the bottom on the Hadoku window it is showing 98%. This is a countdown percentage until we complete the puzzle. Next, watch what happens when we choose the value 1 for cell 1,5. If we pick a value that is wrong, Hadoku will indicate the value is incorrect by a color not being blue. We click on the Undo button to undo what we have chosen. Right next to the Undo button is the Redo button, which will undo the Undo button. Next, we click on the number 5 in the button bar to highlight all the cells having a possible 5 candidate. We find the set of type 1 lock candidates now highlighted. We also find a set of type 2 lock candidates with the same targets now highlighted. We right click over the first cell and select exclude 5 from the pop-up menu. We exclude 5 again as a possible candidate for the second cell. We exclude 5 again for the third cell. We touch the number 5 in the button bar again to stop highlighting the 5s. Next we are going to show you how to save and load a puzzle from your local hard drive. From the File drop-down menu, we select Save Puzzle as Menu Item. Hadoku's Save dialog box pops up. We choose the local hard drive folder location. We type in an appropriate name, and we then click on the Save button. We click on the Create New Puzzle button to generate a new puzzle. But now we want to return back to our previous puzzle. 
From the file drop-down menu, we select the Open Puzzle File menu item. Hudoku's Open File dialog box pops up. We select the P2 in progress file name and then we click on the Open button to load the puzzle. Notice how the current file name for the puzzle appears in Hudoku's Windows title area. Next we are going to show you how to use Hudoku to solve a puzzle up to a certain point. From the View drop-down menu, we select the View Solution Path menu item. To the right of the puzzle, Hudoku is showing the steps it would take to solve this puzzle. We can solve the puzzle to a specific point by right-clicking over the step we want next. We right-click over the naked pair step right before the first W wing step and select Solve All Before from the pop-up menu. As you can see, Hudoku has solved the puzzle up to the naked pair step, highlighted in blue in the solution path window. The naked pair is now highlighted and is the next step to execute in the puzzle. We click on the Execute button to clear off the non-possible candidates. Say you are in the middle of solving a puzzle and you get stuck. You can use Hudoku's vague hint command to tell you the next puzzle solving technique you need to use next. From the puzzle pop-up menu, we select the vague hint menu item. The vague hint pop-up dialog box tells us a W wing is the next puzzle solving technique we need to use at this point in the puzzle. We click the OK button to close the dialog box. Next we are going to use some additional Hudoku features to help us find the W wing in the puzzle. First we click on the XY button in the button bar to highlight all the cells having exactly two possible candidates. All the cells having exactly two remaining possible candidates are now highlighted in green. To help us search for our W wing, we will use Hudoku's cell background and candidate coloring features. From the view drop down menu, we select the active cell menu item. The cell background color and the candidate color palettes are now being shown to the lower right. We double click on the medium green palette color. The currently selected color is shown just to the left of the color palette. When searching for a W wing, we identify two possible endpoints. We double click on cell 5,6 to change the cell's background color to medium green. We do the same for cell 8,2. These are the two cells we will consider as the endpoints of our W wing. Next we select the light red color from the palette so we can identify the W wing's kill zone. We double click on cell 5,2 indicating the W wing's kill zone. We will try to target the possible 5 candidate in cell 5,2 to see if we have a valid W wing pattern. We double click in the dark red color in the lower palette used for coloring possible candidates. The currently selected color is shown just to the left of the color palette. We click on the possible 5 candidate in cell 5,2 to indicate that it is our target candidate. We double click on the dark green color in the candidate palette. We click on the possible 5 candidate in cell 5,6 and the possible 5 candidate in cell 8,2. These are the anchor candidates of our W wing. We double click on the dark purple color in the candidate palette. We click on the possible 6 candidate in cell 5,6 and the possible 6 candidate in cell 8,2. The possible 6 candidate is our W wing's traversal candidate. We click on the 6 in the button bar to highlight all the cells having a possible 6 candidate. We can confirm we have a valid W wing by seeing if we have a valid traversal path. We click on the possible 6 candidate in cell 9,3 as our first link in the path. We click on the possible 6 candidate in cell 9,6 as the third cell in our traversal path. And we can reach cell 5,6 as our fourth cell in our W wing. We have found a valid W wing pattern. To confirm this is correct, we reset all the colors by double clicking on the R in either color palette. We then click on the Next Hint button. We confirm we have found the W wing indicated by the vague hint command. Hudoku is now showing the W wing as the next hint. We click on the Execute button to remove the non-possible 5 candidate from cell 5,2. Using Hudoku coloring features for finding advanced puzzle solving techniques is just a memory aid. When you become more skilled, you will not need the cell coloring features. From the View drop-down menu, we select Reset Window menu item to reset Hudoku back to its original window size. Next, we are going to show you how to enter your own givens into the Hudoku program. Entering your own givens allows you to use Hudoku to solve puzzles from other sources like books and newspapers. From the File drop-down menu, we select the New Givens menu item. We click the Yes button to continue. This is Hudoku's page for entering your own givens. At this point, you double-click on any of the possible candidates in a cell to select the number as a given. 
we double click on the 3 in cell 1 comma 1 it's now showing the value 3 we enter all the givens at this point all the givens are blue we want all the givens to be black to indicate there are givens to change these values from blue to black, from the Edit drop-down menu, select the Copy Values menu item. Next, from the Edit drop-down menu, we select the Paste menu item. If we forgot a number, or we have an unsolvable puzzle, you will see the Invalid Puzzle pop-up dialog box. You will be surprised by the number of unsolvable puzzles that are published in print materials. We click OK to continue. We check all the numbers, and we realize we missed one given. We add the missing number. We repeat the copy values and paste commands, and this time we have a valid puzzle. Now all our givens are in black. We can save the puzzle if we want at this point or start solving it. Every time you paste a set of givens into Hudoku, it determines a solution for the puzzle. From the View drop-down menu, we select View Summary menu item to see if this is a puzzle we are capable of solving. Hudoku is now showing all the puzzle solving techniques we need to know. Also, the puzzle rating at the bottom is useful in determining how difficult a puzzle we just imported may be. There are two other ways to export and import givens into Hudoku. To export our givens into another Sudoku program, we use the Edit Copy Values command. Hudoku copies an 81 character string into your computer's clipboard. If we go into a text editor and paste the string from the clipboard, we see an 81 character string. Each character corresponds to a cell in the puzzle from left to right, top to bottom. The period character indicates a cell is blank. This is a pretty popular format people use when posting puzzles in Sudoku forums. The third way to export and import is using the Control c command. From Hudoku, we type Control c on the keyboard. Hudoku copies text to the clipboard in a special format. Here is the Control c format. This is another popular format you will see people post puzzles definitions on forums. Hudoku supports the import of either text format using the paste command from the edit drop down menu. We reset Hudoku's main window. Next we are going to show you Hudoku's learning mode. From the mode drop down menu select the learning mode menu item. This brings up the learning mode choose technique dialog box. We choose the technique we wish to learn on. In this example we choose the XY wing. We click on OK to close the dialog box. Next, we click on the Generate New Puzzle button. This creates a new puzzle where the XY wing is the very next step in solving the puzzle. Notice at the bottom, Hudoku tells us we are in learning mode and which technique we are focused on. From the Puzzle drop down menu, we select the Vague Hint menu item. Hudoku is telling us an XY wing is the next technique to use in solving the puzzle as we expect. At this point, we search for an XY wing in the puzzle. To verify we have succeeded, or if we give up on looking, we click on the Next Hint button. Hudoku is now showing an XY wing pattern in the puzzle. Hudoku's learning mode is Hudoku's best feature. With learning mode, you can become a master at solving Sudoku puzzles. As you learn new techniques, use Hudoku's learning mode to do the same technique 20 or 30 times in a row. At the end of finding 20 XY wings in a row, you will have become a master of the XY wing technique. Plus, Hudoku's learning mode is an excellent way of seeing variations of a particular technique. Next, we are going to show you how the practicing mode works. From the mode drop-down menu, select the practicing menu item. The choose technique dialog box pops up. This time, we are going to choose a not-so-common technique. We select hidden quad from the list of techniques and then click on the OK button. We are now in practice mode as indicated in the lower right of Hudoku's main window. Before we generate any new puzzles, we first select Summary from the View drop-down menu. The problem with Practice Mode is it will generate puzzles requiring all kinds of techniques in order to fill the one requirement. So it is important for you to see the Summary window during puzzle creation. This way, you can see if you know all the techniques required to solve the puzzle. We click on the Puzzle Generation button. The Create Sudoku dialog window pops up. For some uncommon puzzle solving techniques, it may take Hudoku several minutes to find a puzzle requiring a particular technique for its solution. As you can see, now we have a puzzle requiring the use of a hidden quad puzzle solving technique. Also notice with this generated puzzle, you will also need to know the XY chain and by value universal grave plus one puzzle solving techniques in order to solve the puzzle. At this point, we could save the puzzle to play later, or we could start solving it now. From the View menu, we select the Solution Path menu item. 
we right click over the step just before the hidden quad and select solve all before from the pop-up menu. We click on the execute button so the very next step in the puzzle is our hidden quad. It turns out finding a hidden quad in a puzzle is very easy. All you have to do is look for a house having nine empty cells. The house making up block five has nine empty cells and is now highlighted with a black outline. For a hidden quad to occur, it must be wrapped by a naked quintet. The naked quintet is highlighted in green, the hidden quad is highlighted in purple, and the non-possible candidates are highlighted in dark red. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. Hodoku's practicing mode is an amazing feature. There are not many puzzle generators available capable of producing puzzles requiring over 90 different puzzle solving techniques. For many of these 90 puzzle solving techniques, it is practically impossible to find any puzzles requiring their use. Hodoku may be the only Sudoku puzzle generator available having this capability. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 49. Please support DX Sudoku. Thank you for watching.